one of the items you tested in this case is a knife blade, correct? Yes, sir. I've placed on the witness stand Exhibit 92. Do you recognize Exhibit 92? I did not examine Exhibit 92. I only tested a swab that was collected from it. Okay, that's fine. And when you tested that swab, what were the results? A mixture of DNA consistent with originating from two individuals was detected on the swab taken from the knife blade. The major contributor to this DNA mixture is consistent with originating from Jessica Goble. The minor contributor to this DNA mixture is consistent with originating from John Hamminger. Before we go on, what is meant by major contributor? The major contributor is the person who contributes more DNA to a mixture than anyone else. And based on our validation, they would contribute at least four times as much DNA as anyone else to the mixture. And what is meant by minor contributor? The minor contributor is the person who contributes a lesser amount of DNA to a mixture. With respect to the knife blade, which, as I, as I recall, your conclusion was two contributors, the major being Jessica Goble and the minor being John Heminger. Uh, to what, what statistical degree uh, are you able to say that the blood pro, or the DNA profile of the major contributor was Jessica Goble? Objection. Life foundation. Objections overruled. You can answer. The DNA profile of the major contributor, which was consistent with originating from Jessica Goble, would not be expected to occur more than once among unrelated individuals in the world population. With respect to the minor contributor, John Heminger, what was what was your what was your statistical analysis? The minor contributor was consistent with originating from John Heminger. The probability of selecting an unrelated individual at random from the general population having a DNA profile that would match that minor contributor profile is approximately 1 in 560,000. You wouldn't be concerned about where the samples came from. You would just be looking at the DNA samples and determining do they match, do they not match, correct? Yes, sir. That's not what happens in, in the South Dakota Forensic Lab, is it? You're given a sample and you're, you're told this is John Heminger's sample, he's the suspect, correct? The known sample, yes, I would know that was from Mr. Heminger. And the information sent to the lab naming John Heminger as the suspect. Yes, sir. Okay, so you're not going into a blind, you're going into it knowing that Mr. Hamminger is the suspect in a murder case. Yes, sir. And then you're also told, for example, that uh, Mr. Hanley is someone to be eliminated. Yes, 